Oh, hey there. What's poppin', pals? My name is John Barker. I'm the award-winning pit master for Beach Bum Barbecue and the executive chef at Skull and & Mortar. And today, we are going to do smoked braised beef rib. Today, guys, we're gonna take some beef short rib, we're gonna throw them on the smoker, we're gonna braise them, and then we're gonna eat the shit out of those bad boys. Before we get started, I'd like to address some concerns. So for the future, if you watch my video, and you don't like how I cut something or season something. Um, I don't know. Do it different, man. I don't give a And I was able to get these ribs from my local butcher so I could pick the exact cut marbling that I wanted. It's one of the few times smaller is definitely better. Now, there's a lot of silver skin on these ribs, so we're going to go ahead and cut that crap off of there. Guys, I'm gonna break up my trusty SPG rub in the absolute wrong bottle and we're gonna start bone side up and we are going to season this meat. Guys, the prep is really that simple. We take off the silver skin, we slam some seasoning on it, and we're gonna throw these in the smoker at about 350 degrees. It's probably gonna take around two hours or so, but I'm gonna check it in about 45 minutes, and then about 45 minutes after that, just kinda see where we're at on the process. We don't wanna overcook them at this stage. We wanna make sure that we get a good smoke on them, a good color to them, and then we're gonna get to our braising. I'll see you when that time happens. Now look at these ribs, guys. These are looking great. We got a good color to them. They got a nice little crust forming. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw these into our braise now. How do you do your braise? Let me show you. First thing, we're gonna take uh, about a cup and a half of beef base. Uh, you can use beef stock here, but I like the extra flavor in the beef for the beef base. So that's what I'm going with, as much flavor as possible. Now you don't have to cover these up, just get a good wetness in here. I'm gonna toss in a few cloves of garlic. I'm literally using three. Now go ahead and toss in some carrots as well. Just rough chop those. I like to just kind of move everything around, put it in different places. Okay guys, then we're gonna take a little bit of thyme. We're gonna throw that in there. We're gonna throw a little bit of rosemary in this MF. And we're gonna throw a sprinkling of bay leaves now. This is where we get fancy as hell, guys, because I'm fancy. I don't play games. We're going to throw some shallots in there. You can use a regular onion, but I like to consider myself a uh, bougie. And so I'm going to go with those shallots there. And lastly, guys, we are going to toss in our tomato paste. Now, you could probably mix this in with your uh, beef broth or beef, beef base, which is probably a much smarter plan of attack, but I wanted to make sure that I did something a little off base here, so that way some of our friends on Facebook can tell me what I'm playing. And I uh, definitely forgot to go ahead and put the uh, red wine in there, but I uh, went back and did whatever. I make mistakes sometimes. That's what it is. Now make sure that you get it tightly wrapped in foil. It's very important that we keep the steam in there. So we're going to get this back on the smoker. Probably going to take about another two hours. We're going to ride it out at the same temperature and we are going to let this meat braise. It should just fall right apart when we're done. Yeah, so I, I guess a bunch of people were commenting on different social medias about like, does this guy have a painting of himself? No, dude, come on, man. What kind of, what kind of asshole would have a painting of themselves hanging up, you know? Am I right? All right, guys, it's been about four hours and these ribs should be done. Let's crack this open. We got our meat out. We got it piled up. You see it just falling right off the bone. Look at that. Look how delicious that is. See how the meat just disintegrates? All right, let me get a bite here. Let's see what it, guys, for real, 
No meat in the mouth jokes, dude. I'm... Knock it off, Terry. I know what you mean. You freak. Mm. That's great, man. You can taste all like the tomatoiness, the different herbs and spices and seasoning. It's just so good. Look at that. I love to eat these carrots, man. I love to eat the sauce. Um, that's what I'd recommend doing with it as well. I mean, you know, eat it how you like it. It's basically like the world's best pot roast, kind of, if you eat it like this. Now, I'm going to clean this mess up. And the cool thing about this is I'm actually not even going to eat it today. I'm going to package it all up, and it's going to reheat really great. I'm going to keep all the sauce in the pan, and this is going to be a great weeknight meal for my family. So I'm going to do that. If you learned something today, if you like what you saw, if you're freaking hungry, and you just want to watch people eat, Maybe you just like to watch a big dude eat. I don't know. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Leave a comment. And I'll be back with a brand new video next week.